if you can hear me now, let me put the lights on, so much better. That's it. Right now I'm reviewing sort of legit toys. And why am I reviewing legit toys? Because one, I found these like a couple of days ago in the rain. Can you believe that? Some people were throwing some stuff out and it was raining too, which is silly because if you notice, this is an electronic toy and this should not be in the rain. But it's not an electronic toy, but it's a big ass toy. It's the flipping Hulkbuster from Avengers Age of Ultron. And this is of course Batman from BVS of course, or Batman v Superman, call it what you will. And these two masks are basically like play toy masks. They're not based on anything. I thought it was based on the um, Ben Affleck Batman, but it's not. You may be wondering why did I review this? Like I said before, because like I said, I found them in the trash. I found them in um in a toy box outside someone's house, and said take them free of charge. And it was raining, so let me just take them. And who knows? I might even customize this as Blunt Man or even an old school Batman. Who knows? Anyway, let's continue with the review. This is basically um called like I said, BVS Batman, and also if you can notice, it makes a very funny sound. Yeah, it's a bit run out. It's run out of um lights because obviously it was in the rain. That's what you get for electric stuff. Yeah. I had to look at this because obviously it looks legit, it's not bootleg and most of all, it's electronic. I never had electronic toy, not for ages. It's 12 inch, but the thing is a big ass toy, I have to admit. It's very good in the details. I know some people like to sand it off and just say, oh, I'll make it with you. Yeah, this is 2015, it was a year before the film came out, so this is to promote the film. I wondered that. It's quite funny that this came out in 2015, but BVS came out in 2016. It's quite funny how this came out before the film came out and still yet, yeah, this was still just put in the trash can or whatever. I could change the battery, as you can see right there. There's a screw hole, screw icon, so you can change it. But I just leave it as it is. But who knows, I may change it or whatever. As you can see, it has light action. I don't know what would happen if I did that. Would it make more noise or just like that? So I've got a... It lights up its eyes, as the back signal. I bet these two must have light up, but things didn't happen that way. But like I said, I found it in the rain. And it's quite funny how they leave a trunk of toy in the, in the toy in the toy trunk. Because it is, because of course, the infamous Hulk bus to fight Hulk in Age of Ultron. Not the best Avenger from the world, but entertaining as possible. This is one hell of a big toy for an Iron Man toy. Because usually, most toy Avengers are like this, but never that um thick, the kind of lenient, the kind of. There's kind of similar slimmers. Something like this, even. Yeah, there's slimmers like this, like this um, Frontier toy I got that I had. Or even slimmers. It's Nightwing toy, that's it. Yeah, if you can see it. it must similar this, yeah. But that's a big ass toy. They're both 12 inches, but this is more thicker than that one. As you can see right there, that's the score of weird thing. These cost for at least £10 or £12. That cost at least 15 to £20 if you're not careful. But I don't know, because toy stores sell at different prices. And these, like I said, are just basically um typical Batman masks to play with your friends or play with your mates or be your own Batman. I found these two in the same toy truck as I saw these two, the Hulk Buster and the Batman. And yeah, and basically, they're not fireproof. It says right here, where is it? Keep away from fire. See, they're not fireproof, which is quite crap. Yeah. Unless you want to burn and make some sort of sacrifice of him. I found two of these. I might customize and turn them red or turn them green. I don't know. Do we need to do any of this stuff? Anyway, it's not a big deal with you. It's basically just showing that it's amazing what you walk past the street and see something that's rare in your life, like a toy you never thought you'd get in your life. So I'm going to at least try to customize them or do something with them. I'm not sure. Or you resell it. Bit of them going to buy that is. But the thing is, when it comes to these days, people are not buying stuff anymore because coronavirus is among us and flipping lockdown is still flipping destroying us. So what can I do? Just wait and see. And also I forgot about the wing attractions. I forgot about that. Yeah. If I pull the stretch up, pull the yeah, it lights up and also the winds come out, it expands. And, and funny enough, this never was featured in the film. It's supposed to have a cape. And that's why I like to say that I might customize it someday. Turn it to the old school Batman with where he's red rather than black. As Bob Kane, the great Bob Kane once said, your model should have no other wings than that other bat. Or even that's from Leonardo da Vinci's flying machine, but still. It's still called that Bob Kane, the co-creator of Batman. I repeat, the co-creator of Batman said, we're making Batman, as well as, of, as well as a bit of finger. Don't forget those two. That's it. Wind expansions. And also it's got two articul no, three articulations. One from the arm, two for the arm, three for the legs. And one for the head, that's it, yeah. Turns left and right, not 360, yeah. These articulations like for one arm, two arms, three, four, and five for the head. But it doesn't go fully around, as you can see, it's like a bit halfway, as you can see, because this is quite in the way. The the neck the neck pads or whatever it is, uh, shoulder pads, or yeah. So that's it, really. And also, it's supposed to have a shield, as you can see right here. There's these kind of these hole joints. And that's what's the whole Captain America shield. I got one around the, in my toy box somewhere. I'm not going to bring it out because it's too much, it's too long. So these are kind of shoulder joints. I mean, shield joints for to put Captain America's shield in it, I guess. Or to put like a, a blaster of some sort. Yeah, because if I noticed that they developed these and made them like the uh, 
tight yeah titans one yeah basically if i recall there's a bit where um you buy like a titans one of these toys these toys, toys and you put like a rocket launcher and it makes like electric sounds and stuff like that. yeah because i don't like those ones i hate those big ass jarring things in the gap it's like who needs that just make it like that and when it comes through the hole it will make electric sound but make a big loud gap like that where it goes inside the arm it's kind of look ugly in my opinion but that's what it is anyway but that's what you do for toy developments you want to sell more and do stupid more things so yeah i think they were a good runner but i doubt it but you know who needs a rocket launcher toy anyway just make it yourself you have to so here he is me reviewing legit toys batman from bvs and i am an iron man from age of ultron so yeah if you like what you see please subscribe to our channel cheap tunes on youtube and thank you and leave a comment if you must thanks very much goodbye